An outbreak of norovirus infections has been linked to raw oysters from British Columbia with distribution to several U.S. states, including Hawaii. Four suspected cases have been identified in the islands, but none have been confirmed so far. KITV4's Eddie Dow talked to one expert about why he thinks the spread will be limited. Eddie. Mika, Rick, I talked with one epidemiologist who says cruise ships are normally hotspots for norovirus outbreaks because of their close quarters. However, those suspect, these suspected cases so far have no ties to cruise ships. It's raw oysters from waters nearly 3,000 miles away that are being linked to four suspected cases of norovirus in Hawaii. Oysters are shellfish, and shellfish are filter feeders. They filter the water. If there is water that's contaminated with norovirus, it'll concentrate the norovirus inside the shellfish. Dr. DeWolf Miller is an epidemiologist and professor at the University of Hawaii. How is norovirus different from COVID? They're very different. They're both infectious and they're infectious between people. But COVID is spread through aerosols and through by breathing and touching your face. And Miller says the norovirus is spread more through touch and food contamination. According to the Department of Health, the four suspected cases are linked to restaurants and distributors that bought oysters from British Columbia. The DOH would not say where these oysters were sold in Hawaii. Dr. Miller says for now... Raw oyster eating is, I would say, is a bad idea in general. Dr. Miller says one advantage norovirus has over COVID is that it's more resistant to hand sanitizers, but says he's not concerned. So if we safety branch at DOH is very, very careful about this. And we have very few outbreaks here in Hawaii. And so I would say that's not the thing to be concerned about. It's not as severe or virulent as COVID. It's not as deadly. Now, the most common symptoms for norovirus include nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, and diarrhea. But like you, like you heard, Dr. Miller says right now, his main concern is still with new potential COVID variants that could pop up. Reporting live, Eddie Dowd, KITV4 Island News.